you've got to keep an eye on the portal, not just your own guys. You've got to keep an eye on who's entering the portal. I know you got Tyler Barnes, but the portal is no longer a one man job if it ever was. It's yeah. it's insane. It's insane. Yeah. And, and, you know, it's interesting, too, that, uh, you, you know, the portal, there's going to be a lot of strategy around recruiting that's going to change over time i think with recruiting how many high school kids do you bring in in a class because you want to make sure that you've got extra portal spots i mean right now uh cory matt we are we're over the limit um if these guys all come back that that Mm we're trying to re-recruit right um and so you know um so when people are saying oh you know i'm getting you you would not be surprised well you probably would would not be surprised but I, 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 anytime someone good comes in the portal, my phone blows up. Right. And it's not from Iowa football. It's from fans. This is our guy. Go get him, Brad, go get him, Brad. <laughs> you know, I get this all the time and I'm kind of like, well, I don't know whose scholarship we're going to give them at this point because there's none to, there's none to be had last year was different. Um, and, and next year will be different because all the COVID guys are going to be, you know, the, the, yeah. those guys will be gone. But, um, this year, maybe a light portal. You will have to see. You know, it's still early. We got, but in a month, we'll know really where we're at. And um, probably another week or two, we'll know where we're at as far as yeah. whether we can participate much in the portal or not. Yeah, because does the does the portal, does it um, stop right after the bowl game? So there isn't a, a lot of time there, right? So the players really have no, to decide right now, hey, it, do I want to jump or what do I need to do? It's, yeah, it's shorter this year. Okay. And I think it extends, I could be wrong, but I think Tyler told me, that it it extends a little bit longer for like the college football playoff teams they might have an extra week or 10 days or something like that um but but in general in general at the beginning of january it's pretty much close so these kids really need to decide whether they're going to come back or not and so we're pushing when i say we i'm talking about iowa football i consider me iowa football at this point i do (laughs) yeah for you yeah Um, part of the team definitely but we you know we're we're you know, talking to the kids to see, you know, what they're, what they're wanting to do, because, you know, <laughs> it, we, we don't want them to wait until the last day to enter the portal for their own, for their own sake, one mm-hmm. or what two for our own sake, because we want, we need to know what kind of scholarship uh, numbers we're looking at. Notes, Brad, as it relates to positional needs, we don't know exactly who is coming back, who's leaving yet. Again, hopefully we get some clarification on that here at some point soon. But assuming that the guys you expect to leave, leave, the guys you maybe expect to come back, come back, do you want to take a stab at a couple of positions that maybe Iowa might pursue this cycle? Well, uh, that's a tough one because, you know, it really depends upon who is who leaves. If we if we have open spots, then someone left that maybe I wasn't even anticipating leaving. <laughs> So, um, but if I was to, if I was to take a guess, I would say defensive back, um, would be top of the list. Um, you know, if you, if you assume that Cooper's leaving, you know, um, which, uh, it's not, that's not, that's far from a done deal at this point, but you know, um, it, there's the, it'll be it, it will, you know, the next few weeks we'll we'll kind of allow it will shake out but you know um most people that are first round graded graded um draft picks tend to leave so i mean if you're just gonna have to go with the percentages there i think the percentages are that he leaves i'm hopeful that he comes back and sees the 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 benefits of coming back but we'll see what happens there but if he's gone um jamari i think is going to come back i think he is um I don't know that that's necessarily a done deal yet, but uh, I'm hopeful that that he comes back. Um, you know, uh, you know, if we lose Jay Higgins and, and Nick Jackson, uh, you know, I think linebackers right there, right? 